All right, looking at this problem that you posted here, we have Zetopia and Freshland producing coconuts and mangoes in tons. So for part A, we were to draw a production possibilities curve. Now, <clears throat> it is noted in the problem that they experience constant opportunity costs. Constant opportunity costs implies that we have a straight line. All right, if we had uh, increasing opportunity costs, then it would be uh, more of a bowed out curve. So because it's concept to cost, it's a straight line for each and they can only produce. So Zetopia can produce 50 coconuts and 60 mangoes. As you can see, I've labeled correspondingly to how they want it on the axis. Mangoes on the vertical, coconuts on the horizontal. And uh, this is Zetopia's production possibilities curve, straight line, 60, 50 coconuts. And fresh land is uh, 50 coconuts, 30 mangoes. All right. And then for part B, it says label point X that is unattainable for fresh land. So instantly, if it's unattainable, that's got to be a point outside the fresh land curve. <clears throat> They're going to need an increase in some of the factors of production to be able to attain that point some in the future. Um, but Zetopia can, can get to that point. However, it, it does say inefficient. That's a key word. If it was efficient, we would simply put it online. But when they're producing inside their curve, then they are inefficient with their use resource or not fully utilizing everything. Okay, um, feasible is certainly possible for Zootopia to get it because it's inside the curve. It's not possible fresh land because it's outside the curve. And that's pretty much it for this problem. Hope that was helpful. Thank you.